Hi, I'm Wendy Ann Gardner from Scary Stories Inc. And I'm here today to the Fashion 135 class at Orange Coast College in California. Hi, Mika. Thank you so much for inviting me. Uh, my company is Scary Stories Inc. And I have a line of characters called Naughty Naughty Pets. Um, I started my company about 10 years ago. And I studied at the Ontario College of Art and Design in Toronto. Uh, not really design, I studied uh, painting and experimental art. It wasn't until I moved to New York that I got work as a graphic artist. Um, so I actually started off my company by sewing plush toys myself. And if you just take a look over here at this painting that I did, because this was my original inspiration. You see that? It's a painting of a French bulldog. And uh, after I painted that, I decided I wanted to make a uh, a plush toy uh, based on that character. So I came up with the vicious French bulldog, and here he is. <laughs> and that was one of the first toys that I created. Um, so from there, I just started sewing all these toys. Uh, myself by hand and started to go around to a few stores in my neighborhood. Uh, got some orders from some stores and grew the business from there. Started creating other other characters, other plush toys, and eventually um, the demand got to the point where I had to go uh, to a factory and have the toys made in the factory in China. I actually went to China to, to set that up. Um, but uh, anyway, so that's how I started. From there, I um, exhibited at the toy show and the licensing show here in New York. And at those shows, I met uh, my licensing agents that I have here in the United States and around the world. And they are the ones now who help me uh, get licensing deals with companies that make products based on my character. So here's some of the products that I have. Um, if we take a look over there, we have some uh, handbags, wallets, and uh, just show you inside there. And stationery. And we have also Beanie Babies. And these are some of my these are some of my favorites. This is the Windy Woo Beanie Baby. Okay. Um, and we also have the regular plush toys. And what else? Another one, another one of my favorite bags, messenger bags. Uh, one of the other things I want to show you is uh, the books that I had published. Um, this is I, when I first started doing the graphics. I exhibited them at the, uh, the licensing show and was able to meet a publisher there who published a series of four books called Money on Pets. And look who's here. It's Ari. <laughs> Uh, all of my characters are actually based on real pets that I know. And this is Artie Cohen over here. And his brother Marty somewhere. Over there. Hey Marty. Uh, so that is actually where I, one of the places I get my inspiration is from real pets that I meet uh, or that I've owned. Um, what else can I tell you? Uh, how do I stay focused? That's a very good question. <laughs> Um, I guess what I like to do is take an idea and really push it as far as I can. Um, that's how these characters have evolved. I mean, they started off as, as just a, a name of a pet, um, and then the image and the, the plush toy. But then along the way, we've also um, developed the character a lot more. We've done a lot of uh, writing text that went with the characters. When we did uh, apparel, t-shirts and things like that, we often had uh, text or funny sayings or things like that that 
that went along with it just to help people get an idea of, of the character. And from that, we um, were able to get a deal for a uh, television cartoon, uh, the 99 Pets cartoon, which is currently on Cartoon Network. Um, so that's how you know I was able to take an idea and really keep working on it and evolving it. So I think I guess that's how I keep focused. And <laughs> speaking of focus, I have to go and answer the door. Excuse me one second. Hi, Artie. Hello. Okay, well, it looks like this won't be edited, so we'll just keep going. Um, I guess the last question is um, advice about inspiration. Um, well, again, I just usually I like to start with an idea, something that, that makes me laugh or something that I like. Um, I'm actually working on some new ideas right now, and um, I'll show you what I'm working on here. I've got some new plush toys that I've been working on, some new characters. And um, so, you know, I just try to make something that I like. These qu aren't quite there yet, but I'm working on it, and I'll just keep sewing until I get something that, that pleases me. And then I plan to uh, take those, you know, around to some stores and get some reactions from some other people. I'll show them to my kids, see if they like them. And speaking of kids, here they are. Excuse me again. Hi. Hi. Are you still filming? Yeah. I'm my video. So here's my kids, and these guys are also my inspiration. This is Janet, and this is Eddie, <laughs> and they help me a lot with my toys because they tell me what they like and what they don't like, right? And you like everything. Okay. All right. Well, I think that's all we have time for. I hope I answered all the questions. Um, and it was nice talking to you. Thanks again, Mika. And see you soon. Bye.